35 seconds. He's off! And he's going! He's ascending up the G rope, and he's going to make it up, going straight onto the Super Salmon Ladder, lagging a lot more than he did last tournament. That definitely will cost him a lot of time, so he's gonna have to go faster. Already not a good run. Struggling on the Super Salmon Ladder. This is gonna be hard to come back from. He's gonna have to rush up the aqua that he failed last time. But he, and that's what he's doing. Flaxen has already started going up. Wait, he could do this. It's gonna be close. Paul, go for it. And he's done it. God's in favor. It feels good to be back. He can get off as the veteran. Paul Paul 2016. Here, how will he fare? And he has begun. Tournament 4 is underway. Welcome one and all. I am Heim Galactic. And here we are at the first stage. He is going through the new obstacle step ladder nicely. Now on to another new obstacle, the log grip. Has to hold on to these logs as they go down on the track. And it looks like he's going to make it onto the first turning off will escalate unchanged. All right, and now moving over to that first pillar. Now to go to the center pillar. Now he's on to a devilish new challenge, the Dragon Glider. It's the fun dip last time, but now it's going to be even harder. All right, he's going down the first track. Paul Paul, obviously one of the best, one of the better competitors here. And he looks like he's going to make it. Yes, now on to the modified music box. Uh, the dismount is harder and there are a lot less pegs. Alright, going for the dismount. Which he sticks! And it looks like he might be able to clear as he's gone through the drawbridge, which he's gonna make to. Now the last obstacle, it's a new one, the double warp wall. And he gets up the first wall in one. And I think we're gonna have our first clear as number one, folks. So, looks like he's gonna make it. Yes, he will! Paul Paul 2016, the first runner and the first clear. Horses Revenge are up to a great start already. He demolished that stage. He became the first to beat the log grip, dragon glider, and the double warp wall. Paul Paul 2016, for the third time in a row, is going to the second stage. Hopefully, he can do it. Hopefully he can advance to the third for his first time. We'll have to find out when we get there, though. Our next competitor to take on the course is Jaced Roblox. He's a newcomer here in this tournament. How will he do? And it's going to be a hard task, but we just saw Paul Paul do it. How will Jaced do? And the clock begins. He's on the step slider. Saw Paul Paul demolish this. And he's going nicely jumping off the top of the steps and he doesn't get a sprint jason out already on the very first off school well making his second appearance is jack leonard the host of ninja warrior jungle jumpers he, he the last time he competed was tournament two where he failed on the music box how will he do this tournament though he's definitely gotten a lot better and he's off onto the step slider, but yeah, he definitely got a lot better just rushing through the step and jumps onto the rope, but he loses his grid! Oh, another first obstacle fail. Sad to see. Making his first appearance is Sonic Fan 10193, the host of Ninja of Halo, obviously taking place on Halo 5 Guardians. That is a pretty nice Halo competition, but how will he fare in Minecraft? And he begins. Hopefully he does not become the third step slider fail in a row. Just like Jack Leonard loses his grip on the rope. And he will not as he makes it through. Now on to the log grip. Sonic fan has defeated, I think, only a few times in Minecraft. But he's done pretty good on both of them. Um, 
or all of them. I think he only competed twice in competitions that I know of. But now he's onto the dragon glider. And he'll stick the mount. Oh, 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 okay, almost lost his grip. And now the transfer, he's struggling a lot with this in practice, especially this dismount. But he makes it through onto the music box. This is definitely a scary obstacle. You cannot underestimate this modified version, especially that dismount. And he is gonna make it through onto the drawbridge. We might have another clear. He pauses before, jumps on. Nice grab on the pole. We might have another clear if he can beat the double warp wall. And he's going to go up the wall, the first wall. And he's up it. He, go, he went sideways, weird technique, but it worked. We might have another clear. Sonic fan, 101, 93. Oh, but he's able to get the levitation again and he's gonna clear as well. Sonic fan becomes a second clear and just our fourth runner. This is, Corsair's Revenge is off to a great start so far. He beat the step slider, the driving ladder, which he was struggling a lot with in practice. Beat the drawbridge, another obstacle he struggled with in practice and then was able to scale the second wall and become the second person to advance to the second stage. Hopefully he'll be able to clear when we get there. The ninth runner of the tournament is Bull Miner. He has never beaten 1.3. In his first appearance in Tournament 2, he he went down in the downhill pipe drop. But in the last tournament, he went down in the music box. How will he fare this time? He thinks he can do well, but we've because we've already seen two clears. So I would not be surprised if he's able to do well. Gets caught on the rope. Should be fine if he can just get underneath there. There are barriers there. And he makes it, now going onto the log grip. Uh, we saw Homeboy 303 tell this a few minutes ago. All right, now he goes down! Oh my, Bull Miner, another heartbreaking ending for him. Next up, taking on the course is Akin Oregano 2018. Every single time he's competed out of the first three tournaments, he failed the Escalade. Will he get back there and get revenge? We'll have to find out. And he begins on a step slider. Lagging. Oh my god, and he misses a jump to the third step! The first member of the Tryhards is the host of Minecraft American Ninja Warrior, Caleb Corbin 1. The Tryhards only a group of three members as ClayGamer13 did not participate this tournament. Caleb Corbin 1 finally ready to get past 1.2. He, here's the thing about Caleb. He can get all the way to the third stage on the third to last obstacle, or he can fail the first. All right, we just saw Akin fail here, so he's taking his time, but you, this time is pretty strict, so you do have to go. Gets caught on the rope. He, all he wants to do right now, though, is beat the second obstacle. It's not the downhill pipe drop anymore. It is the log grip. It's a de definitely a, d a way different type of challenge. All right, Bull Miner just fell here. But he's gonna get it, come on, make the dismount at Caleb. And Caleb has a new personal best as he goes on to the escalate. This, he says this is the hardest first stage obstacle besides the Dragon Glider. But he makes the hard transition, and the second. Can he make the third? Yes, he can, now on to the Dragon Glider. Almost overshoots the platform. He runs on to the Dragon Glider. Oh no, and he misses the man. Caleb Corbin won, though. A new personal best does not fail a second off school, but it's sad to see him go. The next competitor is Best Buds for Life. In the first tournament, he failed halfway through the first stage on the rope maze. In the second tournament, he failed the bridge jump, the second to last obstacle. And then last time, he timed up on the last obstacle, the escape ladder. But how will he do on those step sliders? This obstacle has already taken out three people, and he hopes he isn't the next victim, and he rushes to jump to the rope, and that causes him to get stuck. Anyway, he's moving on now to the log roof. This has only taken out two people, but you can you cannot take any obstacle for granted on this course. 
to me, so jump to the second log. Can he survive the drop? Yes, he can. Now the dismount. He's made it. Now on to the escalate. He has never failed this other two times he attempt attempted it. And he's gonna make it three for three. Alright, now onto the dragon glider. Only two or only three people have gone past this. One of them failed the music boss and the other two cleared. So the odds are if you clear if you pass this, you're gonna clear. Oh my god, he almost over he overshoots the bar on the second truck. How does that even happen? Uh, we saw Kevin fail here a few runs ago. And it looks like he can make it. Oh, almost slips off that upper peg, but he has done it. And now onto the drawbridge, but he jumped too early and missed the mount. He jumped way too early off that plank. And best buds for life, once again, out on the at the end of the first stage. Next up is the former host of Pixel Ninjas. It's Raphael Games 122. In the last tournament, he failed the fun dip, and he failed the fourth obstacle every time he competed. So he failed the rope maze, wall drop, and fun dip. Hopefully he does not fail the dragon glider before it. He's on the step slider, another competitor who takes it slow. I think a lot of people are going to take this approach of going slow, but who knows. And he jumps onto the rope, and he's not going to get caught, and he's going to make it up. Now on to the log grip. He was feeling pretty confident about this stage, and, but he's a 13th run, and we've only seen two clears. But how he do is on these last five obstacles. If he goes on to the escalate, nice transfer. He never faces obstacle until now, so it's the fifth, and he kept on the court. Ooh, he decided to go try to regain momentum there. This is the moment of truth. The dragon glider. Will he finally beat the fourth obstacle? Tries to climb over the bar. All right, now this is this is one of the two hard. This is one of the hard parts. Well, this whole obstacle is hard. Come on, make it this, my Raphael. And Raphael has a new purple best as well. But he misses the mount out of the music box. Raphael, no, what happened? The second member of the tryhards and the 16th person overall to take on the course of this tournament is Lucas Vortex, formerly known as Brainish. In the last tournament, he got all the way to the last obstacle stage to the drawbridge. How will he do this tournament, though, if the drawbridge is on stage one? He's going to go pretty quick through the step slider, and yes, he's going to make it through. Now on to the log grip. Alright, he's going around. Now the drop survives it. All right, now moving on to the Escalate to stick out ETN Dream, two rows to go. And Brainish, it goes down! No! Brainish is out! Next up, we have Piss God. He is the best newcomer debut, where he got to the Starstruck Cliffhanger. No newcomers came even close to matching that. How will he do, though? He stares down the step slider, Piss God. You, you love him. If you don't love him, then you're crazy. But he's gonna rush to that second step. He is going very quick. Wants to avenge Vortex, aka Brainish. Uh, after telling the Escalate, this makes his... Wow, he is going extremely fast. Provides a drop. And now on the Escalate, just took out Brainish, and it took out ETH a few runs ago. And he makes a transfer. And it looks like he's gonna clear. Yep. All right. Now into the dragon glider. He's never really had. He's never really struggled with water obstacles. Last one went down on Fireman's Dream, the fourth obstacle, stage two. And now he's gonna go on to the music box. Oh my God! I thought he missed that there. That would have been heartbreaking. Now the dismount. His God is flying through the drawbridge. Yes, he survives the jump. And he's going onto the double warp wall. I think this god has this. He's up the normal, uh, the, uh, the first wall on one. All right, now the second wall. It looks like he's gonna get the fast time if he can get up this, which I believe he can. Oh no, I jinxed it, he missed on the first time. Okay, but he gets it on the second, and this god is going to advance on the second stage for the third time in a row. 
Piss God does absolutely outstanding on that stage. And we'll see him, we'll see him in the second. He events Brandish on the Escalate by clearing it, and then beat the mu the modified music box right after. Then after, but then he missed the double warp wall on his first attempt. But after that struggle, he was able to get it on a second, and Piss God is going to be advancing to the second stage once again. He walks over to the fireman pole and climbs down. We'll see him in the next stage. Beginning the All-Stars off is Blushy Baby Kai. He has never failed the first stage, just like the other two All-Stars. Because only Brad and Oculus is Epic retired, there are only three All-Stars now. Blushy Baby Kai, his best result is 2.4, but because of his consistency on making it to the second stage, he earned the rank of All-Star in the last tournament. And he threw the stop slider with basically like the smoothest attempt yet onto the log grip. He wasn't too worried about this obstacle, but it was this jump right here that he said he would most likely fail if he did fail this obstacle. But he will not fail it under the Escalade. We've already seen two people fail here. Oh, and he almost failed that. That would have been so sad to see. But Blushy Movie Kai has made it. And now going under the Dragon Glider, he's struggling a lot with this obstacle in practice. And he's gonna go for the transfer. And he sticks it. All right, now going on to the dismount. Yep, all right, now on to the music box. Can he do it? Going for the dismount. Blood Kai! Blushy Baby Kai's out! No! So Kai, for the first time ever, you just went down on the first stage. How do you feel? Kinda mad, but also glad. What do you right. So, what do you think went wrong on that dismount of the music box? Stairs. Well, Green Mill, it's an honor having you run again. Number 19 is Mr. Consistency himself. It's Circuit of Stupid. In the first three tournaments, he has hit six but he has hit six buzzers, meaning he's made it to the third stage every time he's competed. How he do this time and he begins. He wants to get back to the third stage. He was so heart he was so heartbroken after failing the final jump in the last tournament. That was such a sad fail, the first ever final jump though. But he's gonna make it through the step slider with practical ease. You're gonna stupid. He's just so good at these things. I don't know how he gets so good, but he's like so good at competitions. But he is going to make it through. It would be an absolute shock if he pulls a blushy baby Kai and fails the first stage. Or even second stage at that. Even though blushy baby Kai is going to clear it, he's going to fail it. Now onto the dragon glider. Could be easy for him. He does a lot with water off pools in his training backyard in his custom world. God, I hate that word going in there. But anyway, he's onto the music box. So just saw Kai fail this. You know, that's in the back of his mind. But he's gonna go for the easier dismount. And now onto the drawbridge. Nice grab on the pole. And now he just has to beat the double warp wall if he can make this dismount, which he will. Now the double warp wall goes up the first wall. But he's not up in one. Oh no, this might be bad. This might be bad. He doubled in two. He's gonna have to rush. He has to rush here. Oh, oh no, 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 sir. Come on, please. Please, sir. Come on. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Whatever, whatever, under a second, yeah. I'll just say that. Oh my God, he's able to make it through. He he missed the wall, first wall on his first attempt. That caused him to lose so much time, but he's gonna move on to the second stage once again, just barely. The last competitor is what all of you expected. Paul Roblox YT, the reigning grand champion. He has also never fallen on the first stage. You have a crowd of two people watching. It's pretty late at night in the course, so I'm not surprised that most of them have left. But the other four that cleared are probably all looking at the second stage. And he has made it through. Now onto the log grip. 
he has a lot of pressure going on on him in this tournament. You know it's in the back of his mind. Just so worried that he could just mess up on the first stage. Hopefully he doesn't. He's making through that. Yep, he will. Now onto the Dragon Glider. He wasn't struggling with this too hard. He only struggled on it with, on this mount. But he, I, he said he learned the draft for that. And he definitely did as he's onto the music box. This took out Kevin and Kai. And Raphael. He forgot he fell the mount. But he goes on. He goes for easier dismount. 30 seconds left. He has enough time as long as he doesn't pull a circuit. And miss the wall. But then again, circuit's still cleared. So, yeah. But anyways, he's on to the first wall. And he gets up it in one. Come on, Paul. Just get up this last wall. This wall is so intimidating, though. But it looks like, yep. And Paul Roblox YT, the grand champion, once again for the fourth time in a row, going to the second stage. He got through the escalator with, with just practical ease. The only slip up he had was almost missing that last failure. He was able to beat the Dragon Glider, which he struggled a bit on in practice. But then he got up the second wall in time and became the fifth and final finisher of the first stage. Now we'll see, now, these five are an elite group, but they're the only, but they're the lowest amount of clears we've ever had. Horses Revenge definitely struck back at this stage. off on the second stage is Paul Paul 2016. This is his third time on the second stage remarkably. And keep in mind, he is number one in the run order. But how will he do? Can he finally beat the second stage? Let's find out. The new first obstacle to the rolling log. And he survives it down onto the new variant of the salmon ladder. The double salmon ladder. Now, and now it uses jump boots, which makes it a lot harder. So hopefully it claims a new victim. He skips the top rung of the first set and is going backwards. That is allowed. Anything that's allowed as long as you don't go on the rung. Alright. Going into the modified unstable bridge underneath the first bridge. This is returning from tournament one. It's harder now, especially that dismount, but he makes it into the spider wall, which is not an easy task. You have to go up, across, and then down. He just arrives to drop a section of it. Now a new obstacle, the double ledge. Has to go across the honey block and then make a transfer midair to the other side and then the dismount, which he does. Now the final obstacle is stop and go. On the, he's on the pillar climbing up. All right, now the last climb to the last two jumps. Makes the first, second, and third, and Paul Paul 2016 is advancing on to the third stage for his first time ever. What a remarkable tournament this is for him. We'll see him in the third stage. He crushed every obstacle of that, and we will see him in the third stage. Honestly, I'm just really happy to beat the first stage. There was a lot of, well, actually, okay. There was a lot of just, in general, the stage was very difficult. So getting through it was very nice. Um, for this stage, I, I mean, I feel pretty confident. There's a lot that could take me out here, specifically the three obstacles behind me, the sand ladder through the spider walk are all very tough obstacles. Um, but honestly, I feel mm, kind of confident. So, you know, maybe we'll see Sonic Fan on the third stage. The next competitor to take on the course is Sonic Fan 10193, the host of Ninjas of Halo. He was able to clear uh, stage one with the third fastest time. So how will he do this time on stage two? He was very nervous as he saw his interview, but here we go. Onto the rolling log. And he's gonna make it to the rolling log. And now going into the double salmon ladder. He was very worried about this and the unstable bridge combo. That is such a hard combo. But he's up the salmon ladder with practical ease. And now going into the unstable bridge. Almost lost his grip, now the transfer, not too hard, he makes it. 
And now this is the hard part, getting under and making this dismount. This dismount is pretty hard. But he makes it. Now the spider walk. Oh, oh this is that first jump. This going up is very tricky. But he goes across, survives a drop, and is now into the double wedge. Okay, he's going across. Go for the transfer. Can he make it? Yes, he can. And now he just has to make the dismount and complete stop and go. Not an easy task, though, but he has all the time in the world. And he lands on the pillar and now just has to climb up. Going across. Yeah, yes, okay, he lands it. And he's gonna clear as well! Sonic fan! 101.93 puts on an amazing show. He cleared the unstable bridge, which is what he was worried about. And then he beat the double wedge with ease, almost failing that dismount though. And then cleared stop and go. And we'll see Sonic fan on the third stage. Next up is Piss God. This is his third time out of three appearances. He's on the second stage. And the last tournament, he went down on the Fireman's Dream, the fourth obstacle. But his his personal best is the cliffhanger, the fourth obstacle on stage three. Oh, he found this new second stage, though, as he makes it through the rolling log. All right, now the double semi ladder. He was doing pretty well in practice, so hopefully he can clear and become the, the third person to do it. It would be very amazing if he could get a 5 for 5 here. As he goes up, oh, loses it, grip there, falls down. No, Piss God! He's out! Piss God is out! Piss God! No! Next up is Mr. Consistency on Sasuke Craft. Circuit is stupid. He's never failed to make it to the third stage. Hopefully, he can keep that up. Right now, he has seven buzzers on his Sasuke Craft career. The timer begins. And there it goes. He is like a bullet for me. He is determined to make the final stage this time. Will he do it, though? But first, he has to get back to the second stage. He's up the first set. He's gonna skip that rung. And he's up the Phantom Ladder, which just took out Piss God. Now going into the Unstable Bridge. Has to go underneath there. Come on. He's struggling. This is not something Sergio would struggle at. But he makes a transfer. Now just has to make this dismount, which is a lot harder than the one he's facing for at one. And he makes it to the Spider Walk. He's climbing up. And now just has to do the drop section. Which he can. Now going under the double wedge right into it. He definitely has enough time. This time limit was way too lenient. I need to modify this next tournament. He makes it through. Ooh, almost overshot that first object there. Stop and go. That would have been heartbreaking for it that way to do the end of the stage two three. And come on, circuit. And looks like he's going to do Come on, yes. Yes, he can, circuit. Once again, going to the third stage. Four, four for four here for him, and he's gonna become our third clear. So we are here, we are already tied from last round. We had ten people take on the stage last time. This is a more, this is a history making stage too. The lights are bright here on the second stage for the grand champion himself, Paul Roblox YT. How will he fare here? As he gets ready to take on the course. And he begins under the rolling log. Has not taken out anyone. And that's going to be 4 for 4. Or 5 for 5. My bad. And now we saw Piss God fail here. But hopefully he can make it 4 for 5. He's going to do what Paul Paul did. And skip the top one in that first set. And he's going to climb up. And that's going to be 4 for 5. And he makes the unstable three 4 for 4. He has heads underneath. And he makes the transfer. And now just has to clear. So if he can make a dismount in his final three obstacles, which he can. And he's gonna climb up. Alright, he makes it. Yep. Alright, come on, Paul. And, oh no! You know there has to be a lot of pressure on him being the grand champion. Hopefully he doesn't feel it here on the second stage. He should be good. He, can he make this dismount though harder than it looks? He can make it. Now stop and go. This is, an, uh, this is his own custom obstacle. I made it harder though, but this is his own custom obstacle, so it would be very sad if he failed it. As he jumps across, and Paul is going back to the third stage. Can he get his th third clear for his third appearance there? We'll have to find out. GG to Paul and the other three that cleared this stage.
Well, kicking us off on the third stage is number one, Paul Paul 2016. This is his fourth appearance, but his first time on the third. He climbs up the stairway, getting ready to take on this devilish challenge. You know he has a lot of pressure on him right now. How will he do, though? And he's off on the cannonball incline, three cannonballs, and goes right into the new Sidewinder R. You, If you remember the original Sidewinder, this one goes back and forth in a zigzag formation. Ooh, almost overshoots that third pillar. Okay, he's on... Oh! He almost dropped there, but now onto another new obstacle, the Swing Edge. Seven obstacles are new on this stage, and one of them is returning from last tournament. You have to, he has to perform two Neos. He survives the first. Come on, Paul Paul. Now the second Neo. He survives it, almost overshoots it just at this mount, and he's made it. Now into the new version of the cliffhanger. You saw the Starstruck cliffhanger, but now it's the ultimate cliffhanger. This is a brutal task. He jumps on after testing out the button. Heads up. Ooh, cannot get it on his first try. He's going to have to do it again. The ultimate cliffhanger, six ledges with brutal jumps. And now up to the last ascending part. He makes it. Now he has the horizontal part. Or he makes the first transfer. Now this is the hard part. This is the one everyone is fearing. This jump. He goes for it, but he overshoots it. No! He overshoots it. Let's take a look at what happened there. He got through the Sidewinder R, almost fell on that third piece. But he was the first to get through the swing edge as well, barely surviving. But here's what went wrong. He jumped from here. You want to jump from back here so you don't overshoot it, and now he's out. He certainly did not expect to be here. Um... <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm just gonna try and get as far as I can. There is no way I'm beating the stage. It's just too. I'm, I'm outmatched. That you got the cliffhanger. You got the stupid swing edge behind me. Uh, <laughs> there's just a lot going on on this stage. So my hope is to just get as far as I can and have some fun with it. You know, I think if I, if I can at least get to the swing edge, I can say that I, 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 I would be happy. The second competitor taking on the third stage is Sonic Fan 10193, the host of Ninja Ninjas of Halo. How will he do here on the third stage? He was quite worried about the swing edge and ultimate cliffhanger, so he just wants to get to the swing edge this tournament. He he wants to, but he also wants to get the best newcomer debut. And he begins on the cannonball and Gladini no! He undershoots the second cannonball and Sonic Fan tournament's over just like that. Sonic Fan is out. We're going from number four to number 19. Next up is Circuit of Stupid. This is his fourth time out of four appearances that he's on the third stage. And this is just the fourth tournament. And he's gonna make it through the cannonball incline where we just saw Sonic Fan fail. But he has never failed to make it to this stage. He wants to clear so badly, he makes the first transition on the side when they are. He has a nice approach, taking it calm. Never really been a fast ninja. He did get the fastest on the second stage last tournament, though. And he beats the Sidewinder R, now onto the swing edge. He was quite worried about this obstacle, especially the second transfer. Because everyone thinks the second transfer is harder for some reason. He makes the first transfer. Alright, now goes... And he survives the second with ease. Now he's on to the ultimate cliffhanger. This guy is a professional when it comes to cliffhangers. Uh, unless it's the Starstruck cliffhanger where he only beat that once. Anyways, on to the vertical section. Going up. And he's into the horizontal section. Alright. I'll pop fell on this jump. Come on, circuit. And he beat it. Lining up. Getting ready. All right. He gonna go for it. He goes for it. He takes the jump and he sticks the second. And Circuit is on to the Cubic Chaos. The Cubic Chaos are a series of seven cubes on different places. He missed jump across. Oh, he goes back to that second. I wonder why. Oh, it looks like he wants the momentum it to the fourth cube, which he does. This is a very difficult obstacle, but he makes it through onto the chain seesaw. 
circuit just having a very good run right now. Last time we failed the last jump, and the swing circle is back. He's on the chain for yourself. First has to go up an escape ladder, and now into the then has to jump into nunchucks. He survives the transfer. Now, now just has to land on the mini escape ladder, and he makes it onto the mini escape ladder. And can he just climb up it? If he can climb up this rung, he'll be on to the cane lane. Has to move the cane across the track without going in the sky or losing grip. You only have a limited amount of time here. He begins and he goes. Oh no! Cubic Chaos and Chain Seesaw, but he got his angles all wrong on the cane lane and he's out. No. Next up to take on the third stage is Paul Roblox YT. He's never fallen on the third stage from Factor. In Tournament 1, he didn't get here. In tournament 2, he cleared. In last tournament, he cleared, obviously, because he was a grand champion. But he begins. Gonna rush straight into Sidewinder R. Paul Roblox YT. The best competitor in Sauce Speedcraft for right now. But he just saw Sergey have a heartbreaking run on the cane lane. He said he's going to fail ultimate cliffhanger, cane lane, swing circle, or clear. Maybe we'll see the new final stage on the first tournament. It's there. Onto the swing edge, though. He lands in the second set. Swinging so he can land, make this next blind grab. And then, you know, he lands it. Oh, nice safe jump there because he almost overshot it. But now has to go in for the ultimate cliffhanger. He was not confident at all about the soft school. Can he do it though? All right, he climbs up. Four ledges left. All right, he's gonna mo. He's gonna rush it, and he jumps way too early. Paul Roblox YT ends the tournament on the ultimate cliffhanger. The f mm, no, the first time he's ever fallen. No, the first time he's ever fallen on the third stage, that is. No, he beat the cannonball incline, the best attempt in standard it today. Then it got amazing save jumps on the swing edge. But he tr he tried momentuming it on the ultimate cliffhanger and jumped way too early and the tournament's over.